I can see my hand breathing. I can feel the sun's rays bleeding. Like my heart, it still aches, but the dull rests heavy in the background of my peace. As Yeshua takes each heart piece and restores it like the rest, I hope, scratch that, I know my mother's at rest in God's resting nest, the dark eternal to be light. And recently it feels sooner rather than later that we'll face this test and meet him at the end of this night, the test of faith at its best. We have no time to rest when it comes to our abiding, so we confess. He knows our heart. It's the reason he restores it. Now to be honest with ourselves as he reaches toward it. I would not feel this shalom, this peace, without his influence. I just pray that in my lifetime I can show his impact and change more lives to join his holy pack. Glory to the kingdom. Now there is no looking back. I want to share this grace, but all I can do is support and pray and hope one day they do see your face and understand exactly how it feels in God's place. Under his reigns, his grace, there isn't much you have to train. Just be sober minded to feel all your pain, but to him it's a gift. Give him your pain because then you will see he transforms it. It doesn't have to be an acting performance. Give it to him and he'll form it. His commands aren't a chore list, but only steps to feel closer to his salvation. A life of freedom, a joyous vacation. He takes all our worries, end of quotation, and what's left is spirit elation. Despite the frustration, the anguish, and damnation, just pray, have faith, and you're on your way to sanctification. Loving discipline to resist said temptation. Give it to God. He is higher than all nations. He takes the burden, so you just keep living. And grace, his grace and love is like a fountain, and it never stops giving.